Thursday will be uh, six months since you've been charged with Matt. Dermot, what's been your overall assessment of your time in charge so far? Uh, we were talking about this this morning, how far they, we feel the club have come in terms of organisation, um, way of playing, um, dressing rooms, relationship between the community foundation, all the admin staff, all the playing staff, all the coaches. I think it's just uh, a lot of good work in a short period of time. And we'll start at the beginning, if, if you were in April. Um, it was your first senior management role, it must have excited you a lot. Yeah, I was waiting for the opportunity after being out of football for about probably a year, six months on my own accord, and then six months looking to get back in at the right job. And I was really pleased to come to a club, I think, where Crawley I can breathe and actually be who I want to be. And you brought Matt in as your assistant, thinking behind that. Well, uh, Matt, had, uh, and, uh, through Johnny Ems, I'd, I'd known Matt, and Matt had a wealth of experience in this level, knew a lot of players, and also um, come highly recommended. What did you learn? Uh, the two games in charge at the end of last season, Matt, what did you learn about the squad during those two games against Dagenham and Barnet? Um, I think it was a difficult time to come in because obviously the, the run of previous results um, leading into the two games that we were coming in for. So. It was um, it was just really trying to assess the squad and see where everyone was at and see what we needed to strengthen and who was looking at really for to, to keep for this season. And you too, as a pair, I'm sure the office staff next door would agree. It's a very good relationship and it's great to have you around the club. It seemed to build up quite a rapport together. You six months in charge, don't? Yeah, I think I think um, we're both similar characters. I probably when I was Matt's age, I was probably exactly the same as Matt. Um, where we like to interact with people, we like humour. Um, and we turn up every day for work energised and I think as leaders of the playing side of the club you have to be like that whether you win, lose or draw you have to come in and energise and motivate people so it's very hard if that doesn't come naturally and I think certainly to myself and Matt that's natural to us. And in the summer the work began almost straight away didn't it with recruitment and getting faces in, busy time. Yeah, Matt and we were talking, we used to meet at South Mims and somewhere in London and we'd meet with the recruitment team from um, Zia's side to, to plan. Um, we had to do such a lot in a short period of time, it was near the end of the season so we couldn't really look at players uh, a lot and uh, we, I was relying on Matt's experience, the recruitment and also my eye sometimes looking on the, the video DVDs of the players that we had to get a quick assessment of them and I'm really pleased to say to, to a man I'm, I'm very pleased with what we've recruited. The first of those of which was NCO Ball to win a real mm. statement of intent and an elite signing for the club I remember you alluded to at the time as well. Yeah I think so and he's, he's gone on to prove that and I think he can get even better you know I think his work ethic, his training focus is very good, his athleticism is good, the consistency at this league he's finding out about now and I think um, the good thing about Enzo he'll analyse and adapt and um, you can really judge someone very quickly when within meeting them a couple of times, I think, so um, we're very pleased with them too. And Dermot there mentioned, Matt, players that you've worked with yourself before, Glenn Morris and Josh Payne were, were two of those early on at the end of May as well, weren't they? Yeah, I think there's four. I think uh, Lewis Young um, I've worked with previously, previously also, and then Jordan Roberts obviously, so um, Lewis being the only one of the four to, to be here currently when we, when we came in, but no, they've, all four of them I've worked with in the past, know their characters and and knew they would fit in well here. And kept hold of faces as well, the locks of Bobson and Matt and Jimmy, and you mentioned those as well? Yeah, it was, it, as I said earlier, it was, it was difficult to try and assess the squad so in that short period of time and and uh, in, the, in that 10 days of training and the two games we had, but just through, as I say myself, knowing the level and knowing players and having watched Crawley several times throughout the season when I was doing a bit of scouting for Mill, I'd, I was quite um, aware of the squad even before I came in, so uh, yeah, we were, we were pleased with the ones we've kept. We've mentioned Enzio, you mentioned Jordan there and James Collins as well. Three big, fantastic signings for the club. I think fans would agree, probably three of the most exciting players that the club's had in quite a while. Yeah, and, and obviously they're always exciting players when they're in attacking areas and it all brings a little bit something different and, and James is with his experience as well. You know, the others two are, are, are young, they're learning and they're new to the league with Enzio. But with James Collins experienced and has won this division, so um, he's a good acquisition as well.